Hey guys, this is a Canon PIXMA TR7020 printer that we're going to be unboxing today. I just got it this week. It's a fairly new printer. It's been out for only a couple months. And um, I decided to order one to see what, what it looks like. Um, it does have a display. It's an all-in-one. includes the uh, automatic document feeder. Um, it's wireless. also has a USB connection um, like previous models. Um, just wanted to point out the difference of the TR and the TS. It's a new um, type of printers from the past two years that Canon has been using. So TR is usually the printers that are going to have the top document feeder. Um, and TS printers, um, they're going to be just flat on the top. They're not going to have the auto document feeder on top. But it's going to have an all-in-one feature also in most cases. So let's get right to it. Let's open the box and see what's inside so you know before you buy um, or order online or go to the, to the store. Um, so let's, let's get right to it. So you're going to get this uh, getting started guide with some instructions there. This is the accessories box right here that's going to have your ink. This printer comes with two ink cartridges. It's the newer type 260 and 261. So it's a starter package. Uh, starter ink is going to have probably around 100 page yield on those. But then after you buy more, ink is going to have... I mean, if you buy other cartridges, it's going to have more ink in each of the cartridges. So these are the original cartridges that we're going to place. And you get the power supply cord. Now these remove just like that. And this is where our printer is. I guess you don't get a CD anymore because everything is now downloadable. And if you're just connecting it to your phone... That's um, that's gonna be the where you're just gonna download the app. So it's very easy how it's um, you can pull it up like this here, but usually how it, they want you to do it is just place the box on its side with the printer down and just pull it out like that. Very easy. So nothing else in the box. As you can see, so we got everything out. Here's our printer. We're gonna place it on the table, on the desk, and uh, keep on unpackaging it. So we'll just remove the rest of the packaging. Here's the printer, pretty standard size. Just remove all these plastic. And let's open this, remove all the, the rest of the tape from here. And we're just going to plug it in and set it up. And actually before we plug it in, let's open this here and remove this tape right here. That holds the ink carrier. And this is where the ink is going to go. And then we'll plug this to close it. The cord goes back here. that in and then we're going to plug it into the wall okay we plugged it in if you are if you're trying to plug it in to the um to the computer with the usb cord the usb connection is right there so it's kind of hidden away but it's there um 
So let's go ahead and power it on. While the printer turns on, let's pull out this tray. This is where you will load paper. This is a uh, catch tray or a stacker tray. When the paper comes out, it'll land here. So sometimes people have a problem by finding it. The paper just comes out. But it's best where when it lands on here. So we're going to load some paper. Make sure you have everything set correctly for letter size. You would need to put this right here. Sometimes people push this too far and the paper is not being picked up because it's not fully to here. So make sure you can uh, set it right here at letter for this size paper, for the letter size paper or w whatever one you have, make sure you set it correctly. Push this in it's where it's in the middle and don't push it too tight where it's just give it some space but not too much. And we're going to load the paper. You can see the paper slides as you um, move it around but it, when you put it in just do it slowly it'll it'll stop where it needs to be so you have that paper loaded so now we're just going to go to the setup on the panel here it's asking first for the language and you're going to choose that I'm going to set it at English and we're going to confirm it by going up and saying yes now it's asking me to install the ink cartridges so to do that, to do that, we're going to open the cover and it should stay right there. The carrier slides to the right. If you remove the tape that we had over here, your cartridge is right here. There's two of them. So this is for C is for color, B is for black. Pretty straightforward color in cartridge. We're going to make sure we remove this tape right here. Like so. This is what it should look like. Then we're going to press this in. That just pops up. Slide it in like that. Close it. We're good with that one. Same thing with the black ink cartridge. Gonna open it. Be sure to remove this orange protective cover. Slide it in. Do not shove it in, it should just go right in. And we're going to pick up the cover a little bit and let it go. That's how it unlo unlocks from that up position. So you see that cool light right here? It's kind of an um, HP had the same thing, it put a light over here with the one I did previously, the HP NV 7055. Um, and now our screen shows that the ink cartridges were installed. Um, and then it says to start the alignment page and you're just gonna say yes. And it's asking load two or more sheets of letter size or A4 into the main cassette. We already did that. So we're just gonna press okay. While it's doing that, just want to point out another thing. It also has the back cover, which most Canon uh, Pixma printers do have for a while. That you can use just for separate paper. For photo paper is probably best. And um, that's what I would use it for. Make sure when you load it, make sure you open these here to the correct size. Um, but if you don't need it, you can just put it away like that. And it's all nice and closed so it's all good and I had this one up so that's just what didn't let me close it but close is nice and flush so it's a fairly good printer simple setup also has the document feeder like I mentioned before where you can put a few papers down to make a copy or send a fax or uh, scan something and then it'll automatically um, scan a few sheets at a time and we're just gonna pull out the uh, paper output tray just wait for that alignment page to print okay so alignment page printed 
printer took it back in, I guess, to align based on what it printed already. It should take under two minutes for the whole process of alignment. So it uh, printed the paper again and it, this is the fourth time it's feeding it in. So it's kind of a new process to me. I haven't seen it do an alignment like that before, but um, it's pretty cool. It's just going to get our printer to set up. Don't worry about this process wasting your ink. It doesn't seem like it, it is when you do a cleaning on the um, print on the cartridges that's when it's uh, probably gonna waste your ink but in this case don't worry about it too much sometimes people ask if you should buy printer ink when you buy the printer so that's something that's going to be pushed when you try to make uh, buy something um, when you buy it in person it's going to be offered to you and it does make sense kind of because the starter cartridges only last under 100 pages um, but one option, what if you decide to do the um, replenishment plan? That's You definitely don't need to buy another set for that. Um, you're just going to set up a subscription with Canon and do it that way. Um, then another thing is you want to make sure you like the printer before you buy more, more ink for it because there's hard return policies, especially right now after COVID or... Um, just ink will not be accepted in a lot of places after if it's a little bit open or uh, some places not at all. So you just, th there's always time you can buy it or order it um, again. So I, I wouldn't rush to buy another set um, because the printer does include the starter set like we saw. So it's all done with the initial adjustments and it did print these two pages that are identical and on the back it also printed so another feature of this printer is it has a double-sided printing um, feature it's, it's really handy whenever you want to print on both sides of the page it does have that automatic feature included and that's really cool with most canon printers it's going to have that so we're going to continue further into the setup i'm going to try to set it up on my phone um, that gives me more options uh, than just this small display screen. That's probably another reason why they did a small display. Usually it would be a bigger um, where you can touch screen and select all your features, but this is the way printers are going right now. We're going to see how consumers are liking it, and um, they're probably just going to base their future models on that if people like having their phone or computer as the control panel instead of on the printer. I personally still prefer to have everything here. It's much easier. I don't have to get my phone out every time. So, um, but that's just for copying reasons. If you're printing, you're still connected. To so this is the um, setup that they have. You can scan it here uh, on the, uh, there's one on the box, uh, QR code, uh, one in the manual. So um, I just went ahead, and, well, that's not what I need. This is what we need, the Canon Print Inkjet Selfie. Um, um, app that we're going to download and uh, this is the one that should install and have our everything where we can check the nozzles the quality the ink volume uh, it's best you have it on your phone anyway okay so a couple of things that uh, downloaded I opened the app it asked me for um, access to my phone um, I'm just going to allow it. Any pictures that I'll have here, I'll be directly able to print. Um, battery settings, saver is enabled on the That's something to do with my phone. So now it's asking me if you if I want ignore that battery saver it has something to do with my phone. So um it's going to ask you, do you want to search for available printers? You're going to say yes. Um, I'm not sure if it's connected. Okay, so it was not able to find my printer because I haven't connected. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to, to go to the menu. You're going to press the OK button. And we're going to go to LAN settings. I'm going to select Wi-Fi. 
I'm going to select Wi-Fi setup. And I'm just going to select through the push button. You can also connect it with the password. And I'm going to press OK. And it tells me to press and hold the WPS button on the router. Um, and then I'm going to press OK. So I'll just go do that. So when it's connecting, you can see that light kind of go to the right. I press the WPS button, I think, on the router. And let's see if it connects now. So now it's connected to the wireless router. And we're going to press OK. So our uh, printer is connected um, to the wireless router. Um, as you can see here, it's going to say press and hold the following button on your phone for three seconds. This is this button right on your printer, I'm sorry. This is the button on our printer. We're going to hold it for three seconds. And it seems like the process keeps going. One, two, three. Okay, so I connected the printer to the wireless uh, router and um, now it found the printer. Um, so we're just going to select an image to check out, to print something, it's like a text, uh, test image. Um, so I skipped that point, I don't want to print a picture and waste ink on this, but um, uh, went, let's see here, from here I just tap on the printer, it shows me everything here. We're going to skip the survey, we don't need to waste time on that. It's going to show me how full my ink cartridges are, pretty full. Um, then it's got all the um, usage information. Let's see here, we're going to go to utilities. I want to print the... Um, uh, we're going to use the easy authentication. Now the control panel, we're just going to press yes, and we're going to accept the authentication. Um, agree. Okay, so it let me go into the utilities section on my phone, and I want to print the nozzle check. It's something I like to do. Paper is loaded. We're going to say yes, and it instantly sets the job off to the printer. Uh, and let's see what that nozzle check looks like. So it's pretty cool, you pretty much see how it's working as if the control panel was on the printer. Um, this is the nozzle check, it's going to show all the colors. And we can see a total of 9 pages printed so far. Uh, 4 blank and 5 printed, which is first time I see that kind of a detail. Usually it just says approximately between 1000 and 1500 pages for example. So we're going to hit all A, we're not going to clean anything. Um, nozzle cleaning is not required uh, alignment if you want to do that for whatever reason roller cleaning that's all here in the utilities so it's pretty cool um, everything that you would usually get on the printer you're gonna have in your phone and um, you can see the um, any information that you may have like how to load paper and all this stuff you can find here so pretty much this is as far as we'll go um thank you guys for watching hopefully this was helpful for you may maybe may uh help you make a decision on um on a printer purchase i like it in general the only thing i don't really like um is the ink cartridge size i usually prefer those four or five ink tank systems but also some people hate those for whatever reason because they have to buy a whole set in order to change one cartridge and that may be a lot of money so um this is your main home screen on here. You can do it's all kind all kinds of cool features and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. I'm sorry it was a bit of a long video, but um hopefully it did 
help you with your printer purchase decision. Um, uh, we are going to have some troubleshooting videos on this model, so check those out, and hopefully you enjoy this printer. Um, have a wonderful day. Thanks.